Well, we often speak about the Higgs as the field that gives rise to mass for all other particles. And there's truth to that. That is indeed what it does. But it doesn't mean that if I'm holding a bowling ball, that the mass of the bowling ball is coming purely from the Higgs field. That's actually not right. See, the bowling ball is made up of atoms. Inside the atoms, you have the nuclei, neutrons and protons. That's where the bulk of the mass of the bowling ball comes from. Now, the neutrons and protons are made up of quarks. The quarks have mass because of the Higgs field. But if you were to add up the mass of all the individual quarks inside a proton, three of them, it would not add up to the mass of the proton. You say, well, where's the other mass coming from? It's coming from the fact that the quarks are all pulling on each other with the strong nuclear force. There's glue, gluons, that are being interchanged between the quarks. And it's the energy of the glue, energy of the gluons, that contributes the bulk of the mass of the proton from equals mc squared. So if you look at the mass of the bowling ball, it's largely coming from the energy of the gluons that are holding the quarks together, holding the protons and neutrons together inside the atoms.